about Tony, this is Tony, right? Yes, uh, Anton. Uh, I, you know, I got to meet him after nearly 30 years in 2013. And, you know, after I met him, we, you know, we stood together, we came, he, he came over, we stood around each other. So 2000, 2016, I think, was January or February, I don't know, I'm not sure. He became a Muslim, he took the Shahada. Assalamu alaikum, Tony, how are you doing? Salam. All right, how do I look? So you, you, <laughs> they say the cat had nine lives, you had 20 lives, huh? How many times? Allah blessed you to, to yeah. come back. How many times you were talking about you died, but you came back. Allah came saved back. you. Yeah, came back. How many times was that? We, I lost count. About seven times. Seven, seven times. Seven times. You almost, you I'm, literally I'm, almost. I mean, doctor's hands, I die. The, and, the, and the doctor gave you how many? Five to seven five years? Five to seven years to live. And that was what, 20? 21 years and a half to go. And look yeah. at that, amazing. And Allah kept you, the Creator kept you alive. Yeah. That recently, a few years ago, you actually, you accepted yes. Islam. Submission yeah. to the Creator, not the creation. Yes. You accepted Islam. Tell us, what was it at the end that ha had you, because you came from a background being Catholic, Christian, Albanian? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And your 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 family was also, you were talking about their bishops or their... Yes. Were, yeah. So what was it about well, Islam that finally well, had you accepted? I, uh, I grew up since I was a kid. I grew up with my friends, Muslims. And you know, all my friends are Muslims. And then after I grew up, I escaped to Italy. You know, there, hanging out with Muslims all the time, you know. And then, you know, the States. And then I decided, you know, to become Muslim. With uh, Sami's house there. I decided, you know, since then, I've been the same. Turn, turn my religion, in other words, to Muslim. Yeah, many people don't know when you accept Islam, you're following the way of Jesus, the way of Moses, the way of Abraham. They all yeah. did Islam. They submitted their will to the Creator. So yeah. it's coming back, we say, to the natural way, the natural way of man. Not worshipping a stick, a stone, a bone, a man, a woman, nothing in creation, but to the Creator. Yes. So you came back to the natural way. Yes. Yeah. What advice do you have for other people out there who are kind of stuck between two worlds, right? And they're holding off. There's this strong nationalism, right? And they're following blindly what their forefathers did. And, you know, but to break through and they see you now and maybe they can get some encouragement. What advice do you have to, for them? Uh, well, I, 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 I was lucky because all my friends were Muslims and all that. But what I, what I, the advice I give them, you know, get friendly, go to mosque, you know, believe in Allah, and uh, good luck to them. You know? Yeah, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Make, make, make the human connection. Sammy, what advice do you give? Because you were the person that helped to facilitate Allah through you, helped oh, to guide yeah. him. What, what, what advice do you give for others who are kind of stuck? you know, in between those two worlds, and they have all these misconceptions, Islam is this and that, as Muslims are terrorists, all the other hype that's out there. What advice do you give for the people? Yeah, I really advise uh, everyone to uh, really look for themselves and uh, open up a Quran, open up a book about Islam, introduction to Islam, and just, uh, op just go in yourself and ask questions of those who know about Islam and not what the media tells you because Islam is a way of life all people all times and all places and it's very simple and uh, one of the things that uh, I really encourage and advise is that we should not fall into the uh, media uh, the propaganda, sometimes the media portrays against Islam. Thank you for sharing that with us. And thank you, Tony. Thank you. We're, go we're going into, uh, we're talking about Tony, and you yes. were talking about his near-death experience again. Yes. And what were you saying? He used to go into detail, but lost a lot of energy because yeah, of because the he had a uh, massive heart attack about a month and a half ago. And uh, now he, lo he lost a lot of the memory and the energy and so forth. But he used to go into detail why he accepted Islam. And he would say that he never felt more comfortable when he was around Muslims. They treated him like a brother. 
they treated him with utmost respect. Never, never, at no time that he remembered that he was uh, put aside because he was from a different faith or otherwise. He always felt at home with them more than with their own Christians and so forth. He kept on remembering this throughout his life. And when he came uh, in America, that was the same thing. He had, in fact, he would be much, much more comfortable with Muslims than with the Christians that he came from the background. And he always stick with us and everything. And, uh, and when I met him in 2013, everything came back to him and he was like a new life was given to him. He felt uh, he found his family again because he was for a long time by himself here in Florida from two, 2000 and, uh, no, from 1995, I think, until 2013. So when I met him, then, you know, he kind of really, all that came back to him and he says, the only thing I'm going to have to do is to tell you that I must accept Islam. And that's when he took Islam in 2000. And 16 in the beginning, I think January, February, <coughs> and uh, he would he would go into details like for example, for example, he would say, uh, I knew that if I'm around Muslims, they will never betray me. They will never talk talk behind my back. Or they will never. Oh, they will always honor me more their they own. Because this was a tradition. If somebody comes from a different background, different religion, and he's amongst us, we would respect them and hold them dearer to us than our own. Because this is how we used to look at uh, our culture, that the, the, the more distant somebody was, the more we had a duty to protect them and to hold them closer to us. So he really felt that love? Oh yeah, oh yeah, without a doubt. Probably you can ask him now, maybe he remembers a little bit, inshallah. Tony, mm. Sammy was saying about how much the love and respect you felt before accepting Islam, and this was one of the things that helped you to make that decision. Yes, yes, yes. I, uh, I've been all over them. They accepted me as a brother, you know, and uh, we got along very good with all of them, not only Sandy, but all the Muslim families. They knew me since neatly, you know. And then I felt, you know, I uh, must do something. So what I did, you know, I decided in his house, you know, to change my religion. I wrote a note to him, matter of fact. I told him, you know, I'd like to become Muslim, you know, and uh, that's what I did. Became a Muslim. Did anybody force you? No, anybody? no, nobody forced me. Nobody, nobody mentioned anything. He just, I volunteered. He told me. You know, I said, and since then I've been coming here. You know, well, so where I live, you know, Crystal River is no mosque there. Is no, I don't have no friends there. Matter of fact. That's why I come here to Sammy all the time, you know. We go in mosque together. I sleep in his house. His family loves me and all that. And I love them too. And uh, that's the way you're going so far. I hope that your children, your family treat me nice and all that. And, uh, I love them too, you know. 